Hello everyone, this is Miss Lane and today we have a new tutorial about how to create an e-portfolio in Canvas. So make sure that you have an account in Canvas and you are currently logged in for you to be able to create an e-portfolio. So with the use of an e-portfolio, you can share what you have created in your profile, including the files including your assignments and also other contents that you want to share in the future use. So just click ePortfolio. And then you will see here, this one, Notifications, Profile, Files, ePortfolio. And then you will see here, My Portfolio. So just click Create an ePortfolio. And then you name it. For example, you have here, database portfolio okay if you wanted to make it public you can click this one and if you want to make it private and just share the link just click the make e portfolio And after that, you will be having this um, welcome page. So it says, welcome to your e-portfolio. We have here the getting started wizard. So if you're going to click this one, it will direct you to a demonstration of how e-portfolios work. So you can click this one, one by one, and it has different instructions on how to do things. Okay, so just can click exit for this one. And when you click go to actual ePortfolio, you will have this one. So at the moment, we don't have a text yet. And we have we don't have page comments. So you can make uh, a welcome page. So you just click edit this page. And you can have a welcome, page, welcome message here. You describe or a description about your um, portfolio so you can type the description okay so, um, you can have this one and then you click save page but you can also include images if you want to put an image you can have it from the file that you have already uploaded or you can choose another file just make sure that uh, you still not exit with the one gb user file called and then you can upload the file so just select the file here and then um, you're going to choose i'm sorry you can choose a file here and then select upload and after that you can save the page so here is the welcome message okay now you can organize the sections of your portfolio so how to organize just click organize sections add the section and you can put here for example in your portfolio you have machine problems so we have here machine problems that will contain your uh, exercises or maybe some projects that is included in machine problems so you can do this one and after that you can add another section uh, you could have project if the project is separated okay and after that than anything okay after that you can click this one for another editing and you can click this one okay so when you go back to your dashboard you can see this one and you can now see the sections that you have created so when you go to the actual portfolio you will see this pages here so when you click the machine problems uh, it doesn't have any content yet and it has 
don't have comments yet so you can edit this page so when you edit it you can name it as machine problem and then after that you can put the description on it by clicking rich con rich text content you can also uh, do an HTML embedded content here you can have a URL you sit in here if you have files that is saved in other um, locations you can also include the course submissions that you have done last time so if you have course submissions for assignments that uh, are to be included in your portfolio you can click it so in my case I don't have submissions so you can select a submission you can see it here if you have submissions and then you can upload the file and then simply click save page and there you go you will see the changes that you do this is the page now you can do the same with the projects so edit this page then you can have rich text content here and then we have HTML embedded content if you have an embedded content then course submission for previously submitted course um, exercises and you can also add images or file files okay so um, if you wanted to share this one to for example to your instructor or to your classmates or to other people you can uh, make it public for the settings but if you don't want it to be public again you can simply uh, go to the home then back to your portfolio dashboard then it says here you can copy and share this link to give others access to your private e-portfolio so this link you can share this one to the one that you wanted to have access to your private e-portfolio so that's how to create an e-portfolio using the canvas so i hope that uh, you have learned something from it and if you have questions and clarifications regarding this um, e-portfolio you can drop a comment in the comment section and um, you can also give some clarifications in here so that's all for now bye bye have a nice day